Hi, this is going to be a love reading for Scorpio. How are you doing, Scorpio? <clears throat> we are going to do your love read today. Um, I'm sorry, I'm completely unprepared. So I'm going to use my Oceanic Tarot, my Who deck, my Spirit Message deck, my Bodhi Tarot deck, and my Romance Angels, okay? Not necessarily in any particular order, but I think we're going to start out <clears throat> with your Spirit Message. Why not? I feel like I dropped something. I did. Alright, so we're reading off for Scorpio. Whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All of my readings are timeless. If you're a past subscriber, welcome back. If you're a new subscriber, hi. Welcome to my channel. Whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All of my readings are timeless. Alright, let's crack a lack. Scorpio, what do we got for Scorpio? <clears throat> First spirit message for Scorpio, please. Three cards. <clears throat> Aquarius. So for some of you, your person is an Aquarius or your soulmate, twin soul, twin flame. The person you're dealing with now is an Aquarius. Or an Aquarius is going to impact your life in some way shape or form look out for all Aquarius is kind Ooh, so this is either your energy or your person's kind either your kind or your person's kind either way it's a great trait wavy hair we have Aquarius can you see that card put it in the light do 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 Aquarius we have kind and we have wavy hair so if you were talking to someone and they have wavy hair, then <laughs> that's a good indication that that is your person. And you know what? I have wavy hair. So yeah, so they would have hair like mine, I, I suppose. I swear I just felt something sticky in there. And I just took a bath. So weird. Okay. Mm. There you go, Scorpio. Um... Let's do some tarot. I was going to do romance angels, but <clears throat> we're going to do some tarot. I might need to move this tripod back <clears throat> so I can have some more room. This work area is ridiculous. My children put all their toys on it the other day. And I told them to clean it up and they didn't and so now there's toys all over my workspace and it's a bit disrespectful and a little bit annoying all right what do we got for Scorpio please have children they say it's fun they say oh you're gonna love it it's a great thing they say mm -hmm. okay sure I'm trying to make more room here by turning this tripod but now you guys are gonna get a funky angle so that's not good all right what do we got for scorpio we need these all upside down no okay so i need eight cards for scorpio please eight cards for scorpio eight cards strength stability so we have some leo energy coming out what in the freaking hell Five of Swords just flew out. That means conflict. What are you trying to fight off? Or what are you fighting for? What are you fighting? Do you know what you're fighting? Wow, we got two cards of fighting off something. We have the Chariot. Which it says on here movement. But the Chariot to me is, is always in a love reading. It's like trying to control very strong desires. Four of Cups, boredom. <laughs> uh, so it's like you're trying to 
you're trying really hard to hold back something. We have the High Priestess, Intuition. Fighting off temptation, recognition, okay. This is a soul recognition. It also represents the Holy Trinity. They wanted me to say this. This person that you're dealing with right now, you have soul recognition. Your soul recognizes them. The intuition card shows me that. You've had plenty of eternities with this person. Knight of Cups, Proposals. See, it feels to me like you're trying to hold back on a proposal. Like literally a proposal of commitment, a, pro a wedding proposal, an engagement. I mean, something is being held back. And this feels like your energy. It doesn't feel like your person. Nine of Swords. See, anxiety. That's so funny. I just said that. I said it feels like your energy, like... Like you're fighting off emotions and sure enough, this card flew out. Competition. Oh, be careful, Scorpio. If you don't step up soon, I feel like you might not have your chance. We have the five of wands, which says competition. Two fives came out as side energy. That's very important, Scorpio. Two of wands vision. Okay, so I'm going to start interpreting these cards. <clears throat> These two cards right here came out as side energy. We have this card, which is the Five of Wands, and it says competition. We have this card right here, which is Five of Swords, which means conflict. Okay, so there was two cards that came out. There was an energy of like fighting off something. Okay, and that was this one, the Chariot as well. Okay, so it says movement. <sighs> And it feels to me like spirits urging you to go forward or your person is craving some type of movement. And for some reason, you are trying really hard to hold back. And I keep saying for some reason, but it feels honestly like you're waiting for something, Scorpio. Um... This card shows me that there's a lot of anxiety right now in regards to your love life. It's Nine of Swords. You know, Nine of Swords is all about like anxiety, like stressors, worrying about things. And this card right here, this is strength. It's Leo energy. So it says stability. Feels to me like you could be worried and anxious because you feel like you're not stable enough. You don't have enough um, things that you feel like you want to offer your person. There's also this really strong energy of like trying really hard to hold things in. Look, this person, this merman is trying really hard to um, hold in like or not even he's letting out the fish. OK, but it's it's almost like he wants. He's trying to hold the fish back in. I know that he's not. I know that he's releasing them. But if you look at this card, he's showing a lot of control. Like he could just open the net and not hold on to it and all of the fish would just come out and, it, and he, he might lose control. But you see how he's trying very hard to control the situation? He's literally like holding onto the net so hard. It's like trying to maintain control. And again, three cards of trying to maintain control. Look, this one, this one. Where was the other one? Conflict, like... Three cards of trying to fight and remain in control. So we have number four, four of cups, it's boredom. <laughs> so it's this weird energy of like not being happy where you're at in your love life right now. So there is this definite energy of like wanting to let someone in, but yet I feel like, honestly, this is what it feels like. It feels like you're literally waiting for a sign. Like, you and your person have a deep soul recognition. This is Three of Pentacles, and it says recognition. And it feels very much like an energy of, like I said, Trinity energy, but also of, like, soul recognition. Um, 
you know, this card right here, the High Priestess, is intuition, shows me that, like, you have a deep soul connection with this person. You've had eternities together. She's holding the eternity symbol. You know, this is a scroll of Akashic Records. So you guys have had many, many lives together, okay? And I think you know this. But for some reason, it feels like you're waiting for a sign, okay? Like, this card, number two, um, two of wands, vision. In regards to this card as well, intuition. It's about using your intuition. It feels like you're waiting for another sign. Even though you feel like you've already gotten it, you're like, well, I need another one, spirit. I need to know that this is my person. And honestly, I don't think the spirit's going to give you another one. If you're looking for another sign, this is it. This is your person, okay? <laughs> um, Knight of Cups, this is the card of proposals. So it feels like you definitely want to take that next step, but, you know, it feels very much like you are holding back this proposal because, for one, you feel like you're not prepared. For two, you're anxious about it. You're worried about losing your freedom. You know, it's just typical Scorpio stuff. And I say this because I'm a Scorpio. Um, I used to have deep-seated fears of commitments, and I worked through those when I did a lot of my childhood trauma healing. And I don't know about you, Scorpio, but um, lately I could tell that my I've been healing a lot of childhood trauma because I've been having dreams about being in areas that I used to be in when I was a child. Like I've had dreams of being in my old childhood home. I've had dreams of being um, my at my old school, my elementary school, where I went and spent most of my childhood. So that's how I know that I went back and healed those you know, layers of the onion peel. So I already went over this card. I went over the Knight of Cups, holding back the proposal. And it's because of this anxiety, the Nine of Swords. So I honestly don't know what, um, what's going to happen. But on the bottom of the deck, we have... Well, this came out as a side energy. I wanted to warn you because this... Or not that one. Where is it? The Five of Wands. This is competition. If you don't take a step forward soon, I feel like your person is going to have a lot of competition and other suitors ready to make good on what you're not. So just be wary of that energy. On the bottom of the deck, we have practicality. So right now, this is showing me too. This is King of Wands, Aries energy. That um, you are very much in your head about it. And you should be focusing more on the feelings of your heart. And look, there's your person. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Kindness. Okay, so that could be your energy or your person's energy, but we had kindness. So that's two times Spirit is saying that this person that you love is very kind and they have a great heart. So you don't want to hurt this person just because you have anxiety about commitment issues. It's time to talk to your person if that's the case. We're going to do some romance angels. Okay. Okay, reading now for Scorpio. Can we get three cards from romance angels, please? For Scorpio. Three cards for Scorpio, please. Huh. There we go. That was a good shuffle. It felt like I couldn't get any good shuffles out with this for some reason. Okay, three cards for Scorpios. What do we got from a beautiful Scorpios? Three cards, please. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So if you're having some issues in regards to your romantic love life or you're maybe unsure about how to go about having this conversation with your person, ask your friends. There's nothing like good spiritual friends to give you good advice. Let's go of control issues. Didn't I just say that, Scorpio? See, you can't make it up. You saw me shuffle. Look, it says, let's go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. See, you're trying to control your feelings. You're trying to rein them in and it's messing shit up. You cannot make it up. This card says, ask for and accept support from others. That's to let your friends help you. We're going to do one more. I told you there's some kind of issue with you holding back. Too much self-control and not enough heart space. 
not enough passion, not enough letting go, Scorpio. And that's what Spirit is asking. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. So the chemistry is there, but you haven't made the necessary steps um, for whatever reason. And so that's that. I'm just going to say that right now. Okay. Um, let's do the Who Oracle to give you some character traits of your person. For those of you that are single and are looking for your person, Spirit's going to let you know what traits to look for. Um, for those of you who are in a relationship right now, then this could be Spirit letting you know that you're on the right path with this person. Either way, thank you for allowing me to be a clear channel for source messages in regards to love, the most beautiful, highest frequency ever. Um, source and spirit guides. Four cards. 40s. So, Scorpio, your person is in their 40s or you are two more. Or, I mean, uh, three more. Social butterfly. Okay. So, your person be liking to talk a lot. So, talky, talky, talky. They like to go out a lot. Self-employed. So, they're an entrepreneur. Okay. So, we have 40s. We have a social butterfly. See? Chit-chatty. Um, likes to socialize with people. Likes to be out in the community. Likes to be out... Bonding with people, self-employed, so your person is an entrepreneur, they don't work for anybody, they work for themselves, they ain't at boss shit, alright, they are the boss. Last card for Scorpio, what you got for me? Multilingual, wow, so your person may speak more than one language. Very, very interesting, Scorpio. I resonate a lot with Scorpio energy because I am Scorpio rising. So that's some good stuff. All right. Um, we are going to do the Boti Tarot to sum up your reading. And we're going to call this a reading, Scorpio. Hopefully you follow your heart and not your head as spirit is insisting that you do. And, you know, things work out with your person like they're supposed to. All right. So let me just... Trying to shuffle these, and again, I love this deck. It's a little bit hard to shuffle because it is in the shape of a heart. So it just gets a little bit tricky trying to figure out how to go around things. We're going to do three of these. I'm just going to get them all out. Last one, please, for Scorpio. Okay. So we have the love you're showing yourself is reflecting back to you in your relationships. Be aware of how you treat yourself. Okay. So it's important to show yourself love first because that reflects outward and you loving yourself is going to allow people to love you back. Okay. You can't like, what is that, that saying that RuPaul always says? Um, if you can't, if you can't love the self, if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love somebody else? That resonates loud and clear for you, Scorpio. Okay. And it's true. Watch out for people that don't add to your life. They are dragging you down to their level. You don't deserve this. You're worth much more. Didn't I just say that to you? You are worth all of the good things, Scorpio. So those... People that are not adding to your happiness and not adding to the positivity in your life it is okay, totally okay, to cut them out of your life and out of your energy field. You don't owe anybody shit. I'm just saying. You are abundant in all areas of your life because love is influencing your decisions. See? Make those decisions with love to cut those people out of your life. And then watch yourself thrive. I love you so much, Scorpio. All right, if you want to book a reading with me, just click on the description box. There's like a little arrow. You click on it and all my prices will come up. Uh, check out my son's channel. He's a featured channel. For those of you that have joined me on Patreon already, thank you so much. 
Um, I am not going to be doing the sexual energy reads for April because I did get behind because I was ill. So thank you guys for being so patient and so understanding when I went through this little hiccup. I will be doing the sexual energy reads for, for May though, ASAP. So I'm going to start on that as soon as I get done with, you know, the rest of the reads for this month. And I, I apologize too for being a little bit behind on these reads as well. I know I'm, I still have after this, I have four more signs to do, um, I thought I was better and then I was ill again and then my son got sick and so it was really, really hard for me to stay focused on, on my channel. So that's why I'm a little bit late getting these videos out. I apologize. I love you all. You guys have been so patient. If you'd like to tip me, there's two ways you can tip me and that's also in the description box. I have um, PayPal and I have Cash App. Uh, I think that's it. Be looking for more things in my Etsy store because I'm going to be restocking a lot of Third Eye Friends. I have some really exciting new products coming out there. And I'll probably um, either go live or make a video about the, the, the new merch in my Etsy shop. So be looking out for that. Lots of exciting things coming um, in May, bunnies. All right, I love you so much. Care for you. Bye.